Hello folks, I'm just gonna show you a short video of how to replace the screen on the Acer Aspire 5742Z-4452 Of course the first thing to do is to start with uh, removing the battery it, which goes with those two small buttons on this side and this side so we have to unlock the battery first and then take off the battery itself from the the laptop, just give me two seconds. There you go, so the battery is taken off, and then we have to remove the screen itself. So, basically, we're gonna open the laptop. I took the, you know, the opportunity to take off uh, some of the screws before I start the video just to save a little bit of time. of unscrewing screws on the video and make it the video a little bit shorter so basically there are two small screws which are over here and over here and th those screws are those ones here you can be able to see them and um, of course for the first thing to do is to take off the little plastic tabs which are on the top you can be able to see them here which are covering the two screws and then after you have to unscrew those two little screws which are on the bottom of the screen after they are taken off you have to slowly start taking off the front plastic panel which is around here the way to do it is just a little bit to take it off from inside until you hear a snap sound not break sound but the snap sound and it goes like this Until the whole plastic screen is taken off completely. There, yeah, it's already taken out. So basically, what you need to do after, there are two, three small little screws on each side, which are they look like that, I'm just gonna show you to see them they're really small ones, they look like that very small screws and they're all on this side they're here, here and here and you have the similar screws on the other side which are here, here and here I already took them off as well so just to save a little bit of time with the video and then you have your old screen exposed so basically what you have to do is just to lower down the screen and remove the connector which is already here I also did um, some preparations before I start the video so the way to do it is just to lift off this uh, tape here and remove the whole connector together with the tape very carefully so you don't break it or you you break any of the pins I also had like a, like a ground tape over here which basically I guess it serves as a ground for the wire for the camera however the screen I receive it doesn't have such type of ground so hopefully uh, still it's gonna be working with no issues so when this is done you just have to grab the, the plastic uh, the, you have to grab the um, tape for the connector and there's another additional taping here and take it off on the side and then your screen is already taken out so what I did is I checked the number at the back of the screen which in this case is uh, model B15XW02 V6 and I checked online there's like a, I bought my uh, replacement screen from www.laptopscreen.com they have a wide variety of uh, laptop screens and they offer three different models for the same computer however following this number at the back of the the, um, of the screen the original screen 
there's only one. Of course they have two options, one of them for a matte uh, surface, the other one is for a glance surface. So I choose matte so we can get less reflection with the new screen. So we just have to put this screen on the side. This is no longer use, useful. And I'm just going to grab the new one. So this is the model I received for the new screen. Um, this is the connector over here. So we're going to do the same procedure. But of course we're going to have to do it backwards. So the first thing to do is to put the screen connector very carefully. It's going to try to show a little bit more in detail. So this is the plastic tape which just goes on top and this is the, the another tape which is here which keeps basically the connector in place. So what we're going to do is we're going to follow the backward process. I'm going to put the new screen in place. I'm just going to try to connect the ground thing as it used to be on the old screen. There you go. So this is our new screen there. Of course there is a protective tape which I forgot to remove in the first place. But I'm just gonna do it right now because I already did the testing and apparently the screen works just fine. So I already did the removal and then we have to do all the screws required on the new screen. Just gonna start from this side And we can be able to do the same way all the screwing on the side of the screen. So basically once you're done with the screws on these sides, I'm just going to try to show them again. They're here, here and here. You have the similar one on the other side. Once you're done with all the screws, you put the plastic back in, you, sc you screw the bolts on the bottom, you start the computer and everything works fine. Thank you so much for watching.